All right, so we can go ahead and get started. So this will be recorded, um, so people coming and going, you'll also be able to watch afterwards. Um, so I can start by just introducing myself. So my name is Ava Luna Paro Keegan. Um, I'm the peer advisor for computer science, and I'm a junior in computer science engineering. Um, and then if you want to go ahead and choose yourself, maybe a little bit about like your background um, and what your role is in first gen. So I'm a senior studying electrical engineering. Um, I have been with the first generation engineer student organization uh, for about uh, four years now. Um, I currently serve as the um, co-president of operations. And Perfect. Okay, that's awesome. And then I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about um, kind of what first gen engineers is for, um, what type of majors and people are in there, and what the goal of your organization is. Sure. So first generation engineers is really for everybody, um, regardless of major. As long as you're a STEM student or part of the COE, then uh, what we do is we provide resources to help you guys um, or help students academically, professionally, um, and really try and make the most of their time here at U of M and kind of fill in the gaps that might come with being a first gen student and not really knowing how to navigate a, a four year institution. Great. Um, and then can you talk a little bit about what type of events um, that you usually host um, and then if they're on any specific dates or when they usually happen? Yeah, um, we normally host, um, well, some mainstays like here in the fall. We have a um, Halloween movie night that's coming up uh, this week on Thursday. Uh, we have a first gen giving that we do um, to kind of help students that aren't really going home, uh, kind of create a little bit of a community among the first year in student uh, community here on North campus. Um, but beyond that, we normally just hold um, academic and corporate events on a rolling basis. So uh, we have corporate events going on uh, this month or this week you know, with Tesla and uh, next week. And we have an academic grad mix or academic mixer um, going on uh, next month, on November 11th where students uh, at a grad, undergrad level can come and uh, talk between each other about different majors um, and meet professors to potentially advance themselves academically if they want to find out about grad school or uh, see if they uh, can get a research position with a professor on campus. That's great. That's very great. Um, and then could you, you mentioned um, about a mentorship program. Could you talk a little bit more about what that is like? Yeah, so the mentorship program is just a way to kind of build on the community of first gens here at uh, U of M. Um, as first gen students kind of go through uh, their four years here at U of M, we all kind of tend to learn a lot of different things about how to manage everything. And that uh, kind of experience is just so valuable to helping students that are coming into the university uh, for their first time. So the peer mentorship program is really just a way of using the community of first gens here on campus and trying to pull together a collective knowledge to help incoming freshmen or sophomores or just any first gen that really needs uh, to ask questions and find a first person in a way account of how to solve a problem, uh, learn how to do that and provide that resource. Okay, nice. That's awesome. Um, and then I also saw um, that you guys have had a new scholarship program before, and I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about what the scholarship program is like, um, and if you will be having it again in future years. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the scholarship program is new. Uh, I think we've only done it about two times now. Um, the scholarship is geared towards first-gen students who uh, display financial need uh, that, the organ that the student organization can try and fill in. So we normally have a application process that starts sometime uh, next semester. It's available for sophomores, uh, juniors, seniors, and grad students, um, and a lot of different things from financial need to how people have been performing academically uh, play into how we kind of disperse the scholarships. Uh, before, I think we only started with three. These past, or the first time we did it, we only started with three. This past time, we were able to expand it to about five, and I think that we have a pretty good chance of expanding it to more students uh, this year. So 
I'm really excited to be able to uh, go through that process and provide those kinds of scholarships. Uh, if you want to hear more about the process, just make sure to follow our Instagram because we will be announcing when we start uh, rolling out like scholarship applications. That sounds like an amazing opportunity. That's great to hear. And then before um, you had mentioned about some professional opportunities, maybe some corporate mixers, um, things like that. Could you talk a little bit more about some those professional opportunities and when you have them um, and what members can gain from that? Yeah, definitely. Um, through a lot of our corporate connections, uh, we provide students a means to uh, talk one-on-one -on -one with different uh, recruiters and just representatives from companies that they may be interested in meeting. So a lot of it is um, kind of setting up just these opportunities for students to uh, forward their career by talking to people from companies uh, from a variety of different areas. Like in the past, we've had uh, Google, we've had Tesla, we've had Bloomberg, we've had Apple, uh, Gartner, Harman, um, just a lot of different companies that have shown a lot of interest in kind of coming and talking to our students. And beyond that, we do offer professional development help um, that can come in the form of holding workshops for people looking to improve their resumes, uh, holding uh, interview practice sessions, uh, either between us and resources here on campus, or with companies directly, since they like to come out and hold those kinds of events. So it's even more helpful if it's with a company that you are really interested in applying to and working for in the future. Um, so. That's really kind of the realm that we uh, provide students the opportunity to kind of uh, ease their way into pushing their professional careers forward. That's awesome. That sounds like a lot of really great opportunities for professional development. And then from there, too, I wanted to ask kind of about what type of leadership opportunities there are available. Um, I saw that you guys have a student advisory board as well. Um, are there more things like that? Or could you talk a little bit about, about what that is? Yeah, of course. Uh, the Student Advisory Board is kind of the entry level for uh, anybody looking to just kind of become part of the leadership uh, for the organization. Uh, it's not at all like you have to get voted in. Uh, you just sign up and uh, you, we let's give you access to like um, our Slack and we start kind of communications with you to get you more involved with the operations of the, uh, the organization itself. So. You come and meet everybody on the executive floor. You hear about the different stuff that we're going on, and you're able to find where you see yourself fitting in in the organization from a leadership standpoint. It's a great way to just learn more about how the organization works and get a little bit of knowledge of how to manage these different events that we have going on and all the different operations that we have uh, going on at any time throughout the year. Uh, but it's also really great if you intend to find your a spot in the executive board because this is a really good time to learn kind of the reins a little bit before you kind of jump in to uh, putting yourself in for a nomination on that position. That's awesome. That sounds like a really great opportunity as well. Um, and then if you could talk a little bit about how um, students can join, if there's a specific process you have to do, um, or if they can just attend events to join, what kind of events you have coming up. You mentioned that at the beginning. You could talk about maybe what the newest event is with that. Yeah, for sure. Um, honestly, uh, it just reaching out <laughs> to us is a good way to do it. So um, if you guys do are interested in coming to the um, Student Advisory Board um, and you see us at an event, that is a really good way to just reach out to us and say we would love, I'd love to become more of a uh, leader in the organization. How could I do that? Um, then that's fantastic. Then we can reach out and help you uh, join the student advisory board. So it's just that simple. That's awesome. And then with that too, um, is there a specific way that you should engineers the whole program itself? Um, or is it the same kind of way just attending and reaching out? Just attending and reaching out. Um, the idea of our events is not necessarily something that everyone has to go to. It's more just what you feel speaks to you the most, what you think you can get the most out of. And through that, you know, we're able to uh, meet with all these different people who really truly um, get the most out of everything that we do. Um, 
it, you know, like uh, it doesn't have to be every single event. It just has to be whatever you feel speaks to the most. And if you don't see a lot that really speaks to you that the org is doing, then we also want to be better. That's great. And then to wrap it up, um, I just wanted to ask you kind of what is your favorite thing about First Gen Engine? <sighs> okay. My favorite thing about First Gen Engine is probably knowing that what me and this, the amazing people that I work with uh, on the student advisory board and the executive board um, are doing does help people um, move forward with their academic career, move forward with their professional career, um, just feel a little bit more comfortable in navigating the university. And if we can even like provide a minuscule amount of relief in some area of um, just getting through university um, and being a control blazer as a first gen student, then that that's everything to me. That's awesome. I love that. Um, it sounds like there's a lot of great opportunities in first gen educators, um, a lot of professional leadership, social opportunities. Um, and I'm really happy that we were able to have this conversation and talk, even though there was some technical difficulties, I think it was a great talk. Um, and so this will be recorded here. Um, and I appreciate you so much for joining us um, and everyone else for joining us. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thank you.